Hello everyone, my name's Hemingway Jones. Welcome to the channel. This is our little corner of the internet where we speak about fountain pens, inks, journaling, writing, and just about anything else that has to do with self-expression. I'm coming to you from my library, and today I'd like to speak about something I think we all can relate to. And it's those moments when you're feeling a bit uninspired and you decide, I need a new pen. And you start thinking about what you want to use and maybe you go back to your collection and look at the pens that you already have and suddenly one stands out and you're like, I haven't written with this pen for a while. Let's have a look. And you fall in love with it all over again. So today, let's talk about a pen just like that. And it is my Pinator Full Metal Jacket in Army Red. Before we get started, I'd really like to thank each and every one of you for supporting the channel. We reached over 1,000 subscribers, which is a very big deal for me. We're still quite a small channel and it's great speaking with all of you in the comments, but that was a really nice milestone to get beyond. It's taking forever, but hey, that's okay. We're having great conversations and great fun, and I'm making these videos for each one of you. so. Let's all enjoy them together and see where this channel goes. So thank you for that. So the good folks over at Pinator sent me this pen to review over on my TikTok some months back, which was very nice of them. And at the time, you have a little bit of anxiety as a TikTok pen reviewer because you want to get to know it and you want to get the content up in a timely manner. And in an ideal situation, you'd have maybe three or four months to really enjoy it before you post. But TikTok is very fast, it's very ephemeral. You put a video up, it has a lifespan, and then it sort of dies out, which is a pretty interesting format, slightly different than that which we have here on YouTube. So I spent some weeks with it, I got to know it, I liked it. There's things I liked and things I didn't like, and I think there's things I just didn't quite appreciate. I also put up a review here, you can certainly scroll back and find that. But what I wanna talk about now is how I feel about it after I've had it you know, some six months plus on, after I've rediscovered it and really tapped into the power of this very interesting and very unique and what must be called a luxury pen. Now, one of the things I did notice when I first reviewed it was how warm it felt in your hand. And I know they have their own proprietary resin at Pinator. And what I didn't know was that it's made of mother of pearl and resin. And I think that's where some of this warmth comes from. It almost has an organic feel to it. So all those times that we talk about what precious resin is and how it's sort of just a fancy word for fancy plastic. In this case, there really is quite a nice material that's in this resin. And it's also known for being quite hard and stiff and being scratch resistant, but with one major exception, which I'll talk about now. So Pinator's Ultra Resin is very durable. It's very warm, as I said, but the big drawback is that where the cap meets the pen body does scratch. It's made for posting and it posts quite well, but it also leaves a very noticeable ring around the pen. That doesn't bother me one bit because I buy my pens to use them and I want them to look worn. I don't want them to break, but I don't mind scratches and wear on my pens. 
However, if you're a stickler where you want to keep your pen pristine, then I suggest you do not post this pen. Now, if you don't post this pen, you are missing out on one of the most interesting features, and that's the fact that there are magnets in the pen where you can just put it anywhere and then it just locks on. It's quite a satisfying experience, especially when you close it again, because you can put it slightly off from the magnets and it will snap right in place. It's a very neat way to seal your pen. Another feature I quite like about this pen is its ink reservoir. It's easy to see how much ink you have and you know that at least you have enough for the day. It also has these interesting ridges that feel quite good on your fingers and the grip is very well shaped with a nice line to put your fingers for when you write. As you know, I tend to cradle my pens. I'm not a crimp grip guy. Um, this works perfect for me. Now, as we talk about hand position, let's talk about how this nib is because this is the one quality of this pen that really made me fall in love with it, where it just went up in my estimation so much beyond some of my other pens. You know, it gives me an idea. I should rank my pens. Maybe in a future video, I'll rank my favorite pens. Wouldn't that be fun? So this pen has Pinator's quill nib, and it does feel what I imagine a quill feels like. I've never plucked a goose and used it to write with, at least not yet. Although there are a bunch of turkeys in my yard right now, maybe I should go out and try to find a turkey feather and see if I can fashion a quill. But setting that aside, this quill nib is really interesting because it is one of the softest nibs I've ever written with. I don't use any pressure when I write, but this pen, its nib practically collapses as you write with it. And it really makes it an interesting experience. What it doesn't do is flex. You don't get the thin to fat lines with this nib but you do get a beautifully soft writing experience. And as you pause, it tends to deposit slightly more ink. So you get this nice effect with pooling in certain spots and a more leaner ink in other spots, which makes it ideal for using with shaded inks. In fact, I currently have my favorite shaded ink in there right now, which is Krishna's Sea at Night. I love that ink. It has an iridescent red sheen over a dark ocean of blue. It is an inspiring and interesting ink. It would be the perfect signature ink for me if I could find enough of it. I've ordered as much as I could from Krishna directly in India, and it seems like they're out at the moment, and I'm just waiting for them to restock. It is an amazing ink, and I suggest each of you seek it out for yourselves. So to fill this pen, it has a metal key that snaps onto the back and it has this raised um, button, if you will. And the key slides right on it, makes it very easy to fill. You don't need the key to fill it. It does make it much easier to fill, but not necessary. One of the really cool things about this pen is that it comes with this luxury box. And boxes are normally somewhat superfluous. But this one has a spot for you to stick the key, which is nice. And it also comes with some stationery so that you can write some notes. I've already used half of the stationery and it's quite a gorgeous lined box. This is actually my first Italian pen and I'm very impressed. It is an amazing pen and it gives me so much inspiration because it's so different than any other pen that I own. So in conclusion, why did I fall in love with this pen all over again? First of all, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful red. It has a lot of depth and character. The quill clip is gorgeous. I love that it's in the shape of a feather and reminds you of writing with a quill. The uh, engraving around the cap is just stunning and it glistens in light and sun. That is beautiful. It also has one of the most beautiful nibs you've ever seen on a pen and it's just inspiring and beautiful to watch it as it glides across the page it is just a beautiful writing experience but most of all it feels really warm 
light and comfortable in my hand. I'm so glad I rediscovered it. I've been journaling quite a bit lately and it has been my favorite pen now for like the last two weeks. Now that rotates all the time, but I've really been enjoying that pen so much. So has this ever happened to you? Have you ever fallen in love with a pen all over again? Have you ever decided that you wanted something new and instead you've discovered something you've already had? Maybe there's a lesson in that for all of us. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I have enjoyed making it. I'm glad we get to meet here every week and I appreciate reading all your comments. If you would just do me a favor, please like this video please leave a comment and most important of all, please subscribe and share it with somebody else who might appreciate this content. We're a small group, but we're a good group and I really appreciate spending a little bit of your week with you. So thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you further up the road.